Hey guys, so welcome back uh, to a weekend vlog. It's been a little while since I picked up the vlogging camera and did a kind of moving vlog. I don't know if I can technically still call these moving vlogs because I've been here for a good couple of months now, but I feel like we're still not quite done yet. Uh, although somebody actually messaged me, a few people have messaged me saying, how could you possibly not be done? You moved in months ago, I unpacked in a day. What's wrong with you? And I, I feel you, I get, I get what you're saying guys. <laughs> I and, and Joe actually don't tell him telling you this, but we are both very similar people and I feel like he's creeping up behind me. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we we have a lot on, we're busy people and how stuff doesn't always take priority, but today, today it will. So we have quite a few errands to do. We have to run some stuff to the tip, I think, and we're gonna pick some bits up. And we are also gonna go either to home base or being cute or maybe even both or we'll just go wild. I'm actually coming to you today from my hallway, which I don't know if really I've shown you much of, but uh, it is mission hallway today. So we're hopefully gonna find some paint, get some samples, uh, try out a few things and just sort of freshen up the space because it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an odd one. So I'm standing in my office right now, which I won't show you because it's a tip. But uh, yeah, the hallway doesn't have like technically I guess a window so it does get quite dark unless you have all the doors open what we have here are some bookshelves i finally finally put my books on to the bookshelves these ones are all i think these are ones i've read although that's probably a complete lie this main shelf here is my tbr this is my please please read me by the end of the year because it's just getting ridiculous now I have actually oh let me go and grab it i have read a book i know shock I think this may be the first book I've read this year and that is, is I don't even want to go into it, that's just terrible, but I finished a book, uh, I found this in the charity shop last weekend actually, and I've heard a few things about it, not your massive kind of epic tale, but a nice little easy read, I think I read this in a day, which just goes to show if you have the time, reading is not difficult, <laughs> although having a whole day to just sit down and read a book is a little bit of a privilege, one that doesn't come around too often, but I read The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson and I thought it was good, it really kind of kept me reading, uh, but I was also, what was I doing? I was travelling the day I read it, so I was kind of on trains, on buses, and I was picking it up and putting it down, and I managed to kind of keep the story going quite well, so it's a good one if you just want to sort of drop in and out. I enjoyed it. Uh, there are a couple more, I think there's two more in the series, but don't know if I enjoyed it quite enough to read the next two, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, back to the hallway. So, books, uh, we've actually used these larger shelves for these IKEA uh, baskets, which... <laughs> It looks a little bit messy to me, but they are very practical. This has got clean laundry and so like towels and sheets. And then uh, because we have our dryer down here, we just pop all freshly dried clean clothes in here. And then I can just go and put them away in my wardrobe, which as you can see by the state of this full box, I have not done for a while. We have some more cupboards there, bathroom, box room, and then it kind of curves around the corner here. And here we are, so this is kind of like the entrance way. This is the stuff that's being taken to the tip later. Um, so yeah, at the moment, it looks like it's white, but it's not. It's kind of, you can see the difference here. This is white, this is not. <laughs> I think it's like a gray, and um, the house I used to live in had the same color on the walls, and it's a really gorgeous color if you live in a very bright room, or if you've painted a bright room. But when it's quite dark and gloomy, it just makes, the room looked quite dark and gloomy too. So I think, I actually read somewhere. I think it was that if you have uh, quite a dark room anyway, you should just go with it. So you should just embrace the dark and go for a dark color. So I would, ooh, I'm just telling you the heating up. The heating should not be sent to that, it is summer. So I read somewhere that if it's a dark room, you should just embrace that and go with a dark color. So I would love, seeing as it's quite a small room, there's quite small wall space, I think it would be the perfect place to do a really cool like dark feature color. So something dark navy blue maybe, even a dark green I think could be quite cool. We're gonna go and get some samples and see, see what we think. Uh, the only problem, and I'm just realizing this now as I'm filming, is that all the doors a wood and I really like this wood I don't want to get rid of that and it's quite a job to paint doors as well maybe it would look a bit fresher because honestly these doors are not the best this one doesn't even have a handle but I do like that natural wood I think it's a really gorgeous color and it kind of ties in with the floorboards in the office so now I'm questioning myself I will have a look on Pinterest though and see uh wall colors and door colors and how they go together uh if that 
doesn't quite work out then I am just gonna paint it all white and hopefully that will brighten everything up. Could maybe even, oh sneaky peek into my office, that's coming up in another video. Uh, I could maybe keep this side white and then do the dark down this hallway. Hmm. So we are heading off now and I will quickly show you what I'm wearing. I have on my Arquette Black crew neck tee which is just turning out to be the best t-shirt ever and uh, I actually have this on with my Urban Outfitters, I think these are the Urban Outfitters ones, wide leg jeans. These are super wide leg and awesome and I appreciate them very very much. Um, and then I have this little jacket which is actually from H&M last year. Such a good jacket, it's kind of like a denim but it, it looks a little bit different than your standard denim jacket, it's quite oversized. It has these little stringy bits which I enjoy. Uh, a lot as well, even though they don't match right now. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have that on. I have these ridiculous yet awesome uh, Vagabond. I want to call these like my orthopedic sandals, my granny sandals. They are basically chunky black sandals and I love them. Look at this. They even have Velcro. Oh, the comfort is beyond. And then over here I have my Chloe backpack, which is definitely going to be my bag of the summer. I have it in this gorgeous neutral color. I think it's called gray. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the shade name, but it is like taupey kind of color. I adore it and it is such a cute little casual but fancy bag. So that is my outfit today, guys. That's what I'm wearing. And I will see you all, hopefully, in home base. Left, then left, not there, right, okay. I wonder if it's as good as the other one. Maroon 5. Oh, yes! No. <laughs> Beach Boys. Why are you picking up? No, I didn't realise Billy Connolly was Scottish. Where do you think he was from? I don't know. He's not even singing. He's just talking. It's part of his show. Paolo Nadini? Why do you own this? He's Scottish. Ah. Uh, Paolo's great. It's not the wingman, I reckon. No. Not until you have a license. <laughs> scramble ever look at this the one thing i probably missed the most uh when eating plant-based was eggs but now that i found this which is basically the vegan equivalent of scrambled egg i do not miss them at all this is amazing stuff it's literally just tofu squished up uh and then fried with some turmeric and i've actually put in some uh, courgette and some spinach and tomatoes just to give it a bit more veggies and uh, put it on some toast and oh my god is so so good oh did you want to come up come on then there you go always wants to be center of attention don't you oh there guys it is another day so uh this morning i actually went for a run which i i'm not gonna say i haven't done for a while because i have been getting myself back into it but it's not been 
Uh, the most encouraging thing, so as you guys know, I uh, started running maybe not even a year ago. It was around about my birthday, which is in June uh, last year, so not quite a year yet, but it was something I really enjoyed and something I was really getting into, and it was a big part of my routine, and I kind of fell out of it a little bit. Not out of love with it, but just out of having time to do it when we moved there was a lot going on and i didn't kind of have like my my roots and the the places to run that i knew and i liked and i felt safe in because that's the thing you've got to think about as a woman now but yes uh so now i'm kind of more settled here i've been getting back into it and i've been going i want to say like two trying to go three times a week and yeah it was not <laughs> It was not easy this morning. I feel as if I've lost a lot of fitness, which is not good, but it's very understandable seeing as I haven't been exercising and I also have been spending a lot of time going out for dinner and eating, 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 which, you know, has been fun, so who cares? But yeah, I do want to get back into it because I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm crossing the bridge and after, after a few more, maybe a week or so, I should feel right again and not just completely unable to run for even five minutes without getting out of breath and turning into a tomato so yeah that's my update on the morning and then i came home sitting here in my painting clothes there's some paint all ready to get off my day and start actually painting which is an exciting thing and uh yeah just got a little distracted browsing on the internet as you do and i've come across some perfect lights i wasn't even thinking about lighting but we actually have four lighting um what would you call it like there are wires sticking out of the ceiling basically and there are there is room for four lights and um i wasn't sure what to do with it because it's quite a, a dark room so i think lighting is going to be important and i have found some really cool um pendant lights on habitat and i was about to order them and i thought i'm probably a tube right away from a from a store so i gave them a call have them in stock and i'm gonna go and pick them up so that will be a job ticked off the list i just have to obviously change out of this and abandon my plans for this afternoon which were going to be mainly focused on me painting so update on where we are i kind of stopped vlogging quite abruptly on the weekend because uh it got a little bit stressful i cannot tell you the lengths we went to to get these two little tins these um farron ball tester pots several being used and several home bases were visited and stress levels were high by the end of everything but we got them we weren't actually going to go for fire and ball because you know it's not that cheap these two colors uh this one is upside down it's called studio green which is like a dark emeraldy green and then Hague blue which is a bit of a cliche and a bit of a predictable one but i kind of wanted to see what the fuss is about and i'm going to show you the swatches that we've made on the walls I think the hype is worth it. So we've done a couple of different swatches all around the place just to see what it looks like in different lighting. I just went a bit crazy actually with painting the wall. This is the lightest part of the room so you can kind of see the colours best here. So this is the Hague Blue and this is the Studio Green which I have kind of sanded away a little bit but uh, I really like this colour a lot but I think the blue in this room is just going to work a bit better with the white accents, the white mirror, and with the door as well. This is why I wasn't so sure about having the pine door with a darker color, but I think the blue, it actually works. So I'm happy with that. That was Joe's favorite too. I think that is what we're gonna do for the hallway. Hague blue, and I'm gonna have the exact same walls as everybody else in the rest of North London, because that's obviously why this paint was so difficult to get hold of. Everybody is painting their walls blue. So super quick outfit change before I ran out the door uh, into what can only be described as living my best neutral life. I don't know if I'm going to be a bit warm in this jacket maybe. Uh, it looks sunny outside but I feel like it's deceptively sunny because it was cold when I went out this morning. So uh, yes, the jacket I have on is old from Zara. It's a couple of seasons ago and um, I also have on this t-shirt. This is from RK. It's one of those crew neck thick t-shirts that I just adore. They are so well made, really great for general t-shirt wearing and everything else. Can you tell that I haven't vlogged for a while? What am I talking about? Anyway, I have on my Topshop straight leg jeans. These are in the new color, which have just come out. This is called sand and it's not quite a white and it's not quite a brown. It's sort of in between, very cool shade. ATP Atelier Rosa slides, which 
Oh, they were just my most worn shoe last year and I feel like they're gonna be the same again this year. They're so comfortable and I will always pick these to just walk around town in because they're great. And then I have my big giant tote shopping bag with me. Uh, this is from Mango, I think, and it is literally huge. I could fit myself inside here if I wanted to. All accessorized with hair that I left to dry in a ponytail and probably should have thought a bit more about. Do you like the walls, Minnie? Oh, is your tail gonna hit the wall? Get paint on it. I don't think this is gonna be as satisfying as it should be. Take your time. Oh dear. What? Bubbles. Ah. Uh. Bubbles are not good. Ah. Uh. Well done. Hey everyone. So it's very, very early in the morning. Um, it's literally about six o'clock, and I just. I just finished all the painting and everything, put everything back in the room last night really late um, and really wanted to show you guys before we head away for the weekend, we're actually up so early because we're going to Scotland. I really wanted to show you all and finish off this vlog and um, kind of like do the after because I know it's very frustrating when there is a before but no after. So I'm going to start back here again because I think when we actually began this vlog all those weeks ago, this is where I showed you the little before tour. So, oh, look, a cheeky little masking tape has escaped and stayed up there. So it is quite dark in here uh, at the moment because it is so early. Like I said, it's a dark room anyway, but the sun hasn't quite uh, popped up yet. Before, when it was dark, it just looked a little bit gloomy and a bit dingy. And now, here we go. It's blue. It's very very blue so i think the last thing that i really showed you was going and getting these lights which look super super bright on camera let's see if i can show you what these really look like so in the end i went for these gold pendant lights they're really simple they just uh have a bulb screw into them instead of having a lampshade and i i love the way they turned out i made them quite short so that they weren't too low on the ceiling but i like how that looks and you can't really see the bulb but it's quite a cool like filament bulb which uh looks a little bit retro and just kind of works with the whole light so we actually have three of these now you can see all along the hallway and there should be one around here i accidentally bought the wrong color for the fourth one so that will be going back and i will be getting that fitted into there i'm so happy with the way the walls turned out it looks very blue at the moment but i think what we're missing is some art so this whole time i had this wall planned as like a gallery wall um i'm going to be putting some prints up on there i am very excited about it, so i just need to sort of plan it all out and that's really going to break up this space nicely 
And then over here, I've put the mirror back. So this mirror was already here. And my little fake hanging plant is back there too. And this is new. This is a little, it's like a shoe storage and shoe bench, which is so handy because in the morning, sit down quickly and put your shoes on. This is a nice little place to sit. And I found this on Laradu. And it ended up being the exact perfect measurement to go in this little spot right underneath the mirror. And I think it looks so great there. Beachy, oaky wood finish with little black legs and it has some gold accents too so i was super pleased with that and that's the one piece of furniture that i did pick up so for the cost of the paint which we didn't even end up using a full tin for and then the shoe bench and the lights it was a pretty kind of quick and easy very cheap little makeover which i am super happy with so i have to go and sit on a train now for six hours, which is gonna be the highlight of my day, I'm sure, uh, but I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you so much for coming along with this vlog. I feel like it's taken me such a long time to finish it because who knew painting a tiny hallway would be so time consuming, but it really was. I hope you enjoyed this moving vlog and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.